Need good sleep after checking out all the Hardware Canucks videos? Lisa.com. Lisa Sleep Mattresses are made of three-layer premium foam for all that cushion support, free shipping in compressed packaging, try it for 100 nights, if you don't love it, return it, and for every 10 mattresses sold, one is donated to a homeless shelter. And you, the Harbor Canucks viewer, get $75 off upon checkout using our promotional code HWC75. Lisa.com slash HWC to get started. Happy sleeping. Hey guys, Zebra here with Hardware Connects, and back at Computex this year, we took a sneak peek at Corsair's new mechanical keyboard, the Strain. So now gamers have the option to pick this or its bigger brother, the K70, and it's about time to put this through the proper Hardware Connects treatment, just so you get an idea of how it stands up with the competing market. Priced at $110, this is for gamers who really don't care for RGB lighting, dedicated macro buttons, and the plastic construction. You can say Corsair is going back to the basics with the Strafe, keeping with a minimalist form factor that I'm sure many of us can appreciate. Speaking of the build quality, the entire frame is constructed with a low-profile plastic material compared to the aluminum chassis found on the K70 and K95. It's well-built and feels solid in the hands, and I'm happy that Corsair has maintained that structural integrity. Also, I'd like to point out Corsair's Winged Heart logo that received quite a bit of criticism has been replaced with a variation of their original logo that looks a million times better this time. The two sides of the frame are glossy and reflective, and the bottom comes with anti-rubber slip pads, and they do a good job doing that. The Strafe is a pretty standard looking keyboard. Corsair has stuck with a minimalist design that's aesthetically pleasing. The extra large font is great, and the lettering is centered at the top of the keycap, eliminating the common brightness gradient. The two square size buttons on the top right corner function as a brightness control and a windows lock key. Media functions for volume adjust and track controls have been programmed as commands in the F5 to F12 keys, and they can be accessed via the function key. I would have preferred a dedicated media command section similarly found on their higher end keyboards, but I guess this could be one of those extra features that they had to eliminate in order to fit the lower price point. The stock keycaps that come with the keyboard are very nice. The black soft texture has won me this time, as this is one of the best keyboards to type on, period. The spacebar has a grip texture to it, which is also excellent, and Corsair includes two sets of contoured and textured keycaps. The WASP set is meant for FPS gamers, while the QWERF set is for mobile players. Extra keys are always appreciated. Good job, Corsair. I noticed the non-consistent size of the bottom row. The Windows key in particular is thinner than usual, uh, the function key is only found on the right side, and the control buttons are oversized. There's a USB pass-through port at the front that I was surprised to see considering how the competition lacks this feature at this price range. The cable is not braided, yet it's a thick black standard cable with these fancy and futuristic looking connectors at the end which looks pretty cool. The Strafe comes in two variants of Cherry MX switches, red and brown. Our sample arrived with red switches and are light and linear. It's a popular gaming switch and I have no complaints here. The LED lighting on the Strafe is both vibrant and gorgeous, and equipped with satisfying customization. The keys are individually backlit and the support plate inside the frame is red, which in turn intensifies the lighting through the gaps and I love how they look in low lit scenarios. There are subtle light accents on the two sides of the keyboard and the lighting doesn't project on the desk surface, so you won't really enjoy looking at it unless you physically turn it around. Uh, it's a blink feature, nothing more. The driver software is very simple and easy to use. The profile tab comes with three different subcategories, the first one being the assignment tab, where you can assign every single key on the strafe to your preference. The lighting tab allows you to change the lighting effects to different modes like visor, rain, pulse, wave, type lighting, and ripple. The speed and directions of these effects can be adjusted as well. Uh, once the advanced setting is clicked, you can change the effect of every single key, including the brightness and color spectrum, within the red category. The performance tab lets you disable certain keys and that's it. Not a lot of options here. Also do note that you can create multiple profiles within the software and it's directly stored onto the microprocessor that's built inside the Strafe. So in conclusion, the Strafe from Corsair comes with a lot of positive marks like the excellent build quality despite the plastic frame, the simple yet gaming oriented design thanks to the inclusion of extra contour texture keycaps, outstanding red themed lighting options, and a simple driver software. If we were to ask for more features, we would be entering the K70 territory, so the Strafe is a balanced entry within its own character. Well, that concludes our review of the Corsair Strafe mechanical gaming keyboard. Let us know your thoughts about this new release in the comments section down below. 
As always, don't forget to subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.